In most drawing tools, each point can at maximum have two paths that come off of the point. In Figma, you can have any number of paths that come off of a single point. So you can do complex objects, like say this cube. You can select elements and drag it around and it changes all of the connected paths. You can also fill. Now like other tools, you can change the stroke. You can change the stroke alignment to inside or outside or center. Uh, you can change the join types so that you can get some nice rounded corners and edges on the multiple joins. You can make the line a dash line. You can move it back to solid. You can give the end caps certain shapes. So if you're drawing a line, you can get arrows and things like that. You can also round the corners. Now the corner tool only works on corners that have two points. If it has more than that, you can manage that with joins in here. Now with these complex shapes, like I mentioned, you can fill the pieces individually or you can fill the entire shape. So I can make it red, but then if I select the edit object button, I can come in here and choose which pieces are filled and which ones aren't. Anyway, that's the basics of vector networks. If you have any questions, feel free to come down here, press the feedback button, and we'll answer any questions you have on the spot. Thanks.